Hey guys, how's it going? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and we are talking about Far Cry 4 today. This is a brand new interview straight from Ubisoft, so enjoy. Gary Steinman here with Alex Hutchinson, creative director of Far Cry 4. We're here at San Diego Comic-Con by the Assassin's Creed Experience. Alex, I wanted to ask you about Karat. What a great place that you've created. Tell us a little bit about the world. We did a lot of research. We went to Nepal, the guys went to Kathmandu, took a lot of photos, saw a lot of awkward things involving goats. Uh, goats? What are, you, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? Well, there was a bit of goat sacrifice, so there was a little bit of, little bit of religious ceremony involving the end of a poor goat's life. So you won't see that in the game. I was expecting like a clean cut. But we have seen an eagle soaring off with a goat. That can't be real, is that real? We proved today in our panel that an eagle throwing a goat off a cliff is an actual fact. And we're very sorry that everyone had to see it. It was horrifying, but you can't doubt us anymore. Krishna, you took some of our developers from the Far Cry 4 team all the way out to Nepal. Tell yep. us about it. We took Mark and Phil from the Montreal office to sort of experience and kind of be immersed within the smells and the textures of you know, the real Himalayan landscape. At first, I think they were a little off put by it, or at least sort of, I don't know, they didn't know what to do exactly. But soon enough, we were like riding on top of like vans and like on dirt mountain roads and meeting guerrilla fighters. And I think that really sort of like opened their eyes about like what it's like out there and how to incorporate that into their game. And so when Mark came back from his trip to Nepal, he really wanted to make sure that we took it seriously, that we made sure this collision between you know, ancient cultures and modern culture was, was visible in the world and tangible to people. But realism is one thing. Another thing is making the world fun. Talk to me a little bit about this kind of really fun sandbox experience. We have a party waiting for you. Yeah, so our idea is that, you know, we provide all the all the pieces, the vehicles, the weapons, the animals, the, the enemy characters, the friendly characters, and then you as a player tell yourself a story. We wanted an open world that felt new, that felt like somewhere you hadn't visited before. So Nepal and the Himalayas are very, very steep places, very vertical places. So that was great because it allowed us to have an environment that feels different and also build new tools like the grapple and the gyrocopter that let you sort of tackle those elements. You can play with your best friend now in co-op, elephants now so hopefully we'll see some really amazing player stories so you do this as a living you go to interesting places you see people in real situations were you able to learn anything interesting working with game developers in this kind of situation well I think it's sort of a similarity as storytellers we're looking for things that uh, capture people's imaginations we're looking to immerse people in a world we're really trying to make sure that you feel like it's a, a living breathing world as much as a playground to goof around in.